Hi everyone, Martina here from the Travian Legends team. Welcome to Ask Travian, where we answer the most asked questions from the community. This month's topic is the artifacts. Let's start. What are the artifacts? Of course, we don't know much about their origins, as with everything connected with the mysterious notars. But, as a matter of fact, they are extremely powerful tools. Artifacts are divided into three categories, village, account and unique artifacts. Village artifacts only affect the village they are stored in. Account artifacts affect the whole account and unique artifacts do the same but with a greater bonus. What do you need to capture an artifact? First of all, artifacts spawn in Notarian villages and they are inactive until they are captured. You know, that mighty power cannot go to waste after all. If you want to know exactly when they spawn, please check the Game World Start announcement thread on your local community's forum. We will leave all the information below. You can also check it directly in-game on the new General tab on the statistic page. To get your hands on an artifact, you need an empty treasury of level 10 for a village artifacts or level 20 for an account or unique artifact. What do you need to do to capture an artifact? You have to attack the Natar village that holds the artifact with your hero in the attacking army and win the attack. In addition, you must also destroy the treasury in that village. Of course, you can also steal it from another player by doing exactly the same thing or you can conquer the village itself. In any case, artifacts will not activate until 24 hours after they have been captured on regular game wards. They do activate faster on speed versions. Sounds easy, right? Well, normally artifacts are heavily defended, however the Natarian defense is different on each game ward and is generally set up based on the top 100 offense armies of that particular game ward. Now, you may wonder, are the artifacts worth the effort? Of course they are. If you come to own one, you will have unspeakable strength at your hands. After all, they embody the ancient knowledge of the Natars, and if you watch our last episode of Astravian, link up here, you know that those guys are not joking around when it comes to power. But what does unspeakable strength mean in practice? Some artifacts will make your building more durable and strong against catapults and rams. Others improve your military abilities and enable your troops to finish their training much faster. Some even grant you the chance of building a great warehouse or a great granary. But apparently the Natars also have a sense of humor. The infamous Artifacts of the Fool changes its effects every 24 hours and can get any of the effects of other artifacts except the ability to build a great warehouse or a great granary. But there is a twist. It may also get negative effects. For example, your troops might get slower or they might consume more food. On that topic, we have a funny story that we will post on our blog very soon, so stay tuned for that. And it's a wrap. This is a very complicated topic that cannot be covered in such short amount of time. We didn't go into too much details on purpose, because now it's your turn. If you have any questions about the artifacts, please leave them in the comments below. We are working on a part 2 video dedicated to our veteran players. What would you like to know about the artifacts? What's your favorite one and why? Have you ever conquered the artifact of the fool? Our game designer Jake can't wait to hear from you. Oh, I almost forgot. Our next episode will be all about the World of the Wonder and its mysteries. Thank you for watching and make sure you stay tuned on our Facebook page, blog and forums for all your Travian news. As always, happy raiding everyone! <laughs>